Hey guys, how's it going today? It's uh, General Keith here again, and today we've got another, uh, actually this is a new thing that uh, I just I was recently showed, thanks to Hark the Shark. He did not want to claim a founder credit for this though, because he's not sure if, uh, it's completely new. But, at least to me, it's new to me, and I've never seen it anywhere before. But this lets you get under the, any map in Forge, and it's very easy to do. So you want to have, uh, basically, someone stand behind like a wall or something that's kind of low enough that you can still lunge at them and what you want to do is just keep them still behind there and you want to keep uh, using either a sword or like any weapon you want to kind of uh, just lunge and then melee and crouch crouch when you hit the wall and if you do it correctly you'll just fall right, un right under the map and when you fall under you want to quickly switch to forge mode so what just happened there was basically uh, the game is trying to, when you lunge the game tries to make you it tries really hard to get you to where you're supposed to go so you actually move pretty quickly and because of that speed of lunging uh, if I'm if I'm explaining this correctly uh, because of the speed of lunging it actually it's fast enough for you to clip to the ground and once you're under you're free to fly around and forge in fact, some maps work pretty well. Uh, in this case, high ground. You can actually fly around pretty much under the map. There's like no death barriers, almost no death barriers. Some maps, there's a lot of death barriers underneath. But in the case of high ground, there's actually virtually no death barriers. So you can fly around quite a lot. Pretty far out, pretty far under too. Now, unfortunately, you cannot spawn anything down here. You can drop a teleporter through the ground. As you saw earlier, you can still see the receiver nodes underground. Uh, I'll probably show you again in a second, but you um, you can't spawn anything else underneath. And even if you uh, manage to get teleported down there, uh, you, there's no way to go down there. Because underneath the ground, it's all just solid space. So that's the reason why you can't spawn anything. Even though you can fly around in solid space and forge without dying, you uh, it just you just can't spawn anything else. In fact, I'm not even sure why you're able to move around so freely in solid space. But you know, that's just uh, the way it is. But basically, the trick is you can do this on pretty much any map. The trick is to find like a, a, a low wall uh, that's kind of slanted enough that you can have one person stand on one side at a lower point and then the other person on the other side and that you could still melee with a sword or a weapon but not actually hit the other player and some maps uh, depending on the spot you do it in um, it, it works better with like an energy sword sometimes or sometimes in the case of this map in that specific position you can uh, it works better with a BR or any other weapon. Now there are other spots on this map that you can do this, uh, but those spots are a little harder and some of them you need an energy sword. But like I said, it works at pretty much any spot, any any map where you have a kind of a wall or ledge like that. And once under here, uh, even if you get items down here, objects, the only thing you can see are like the teleporter beams, but you can't actually see the teleporter themselves. And another cool thing is that under the map, you can actually see, like, the roots of the trees. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of fascinating to me that Bungie actually, like, modeled all modeled all this, like, under the map. They really put a lot of time and effort into the detail. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool. And it makes me appreciate the game just a little bit more than I already do. <laughs> So yeah, I pretty much free to explore around all you can. Uh, certain spots on the map, you get stuck in like a little hall of mirrors thing, and it gets really disorientating, as you've already seen by now. Uh, in which case, you just gotta find your way out of it to you know get things back to normal. Anyways, let's try this on another map like Last Resort. So same thing, find a wall that's kind of slanted, and do the same method, and you will fall underneath. Now Last Resort has quite a few death barriers underneath so you do want to be careful in flying around I mean if you die you can always just try again but no it's pretty cool to explore underneath the map 
And you never know what you might find down there. You know, Bungie always said there was like some kind of secret on Sand Trap that still hasn't been found yet. You can, in fact, do this on Sand Trap. And I have tried it, but it's a little harder to do than than on other maps. So I can't show it to you today. But maybe if I try it again and I find anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. Or if you guys find anything with this glitch under Sand Trap, uh, <laughs> let me know. Uh, it'll be it be pretty new. Actually, it would be like new if you find something else on Sand Trap. Because who knows what Bungie means by there's still secrets left. Anyways, for the rest of this video, we're just going to explore like the rest of this map and one more map. So while we explore, uh, you know what that means, guys? You know what time it is? It is time for some puns. Yeah. So. <clears throat> what did the green light say to... What did the red light say to the green light? It said, Don't look, I'm changing. Uh, that was a great one, right guys? <sighs> so have you guys ever tried to eat a clock before? It's actually very time consuming. Uh, how about that one, guys? <laughs> that was great, right? You guys are such a great audience. I know you love my puns. It's undeniably, indisputably hilarious. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, uh. Back to this glitch. It's, um. It's pretty interesting, and. You possibly could do this in, like infection games I mean it's you have to be like really good at it and the other person has to kind of be standing in just the perfect position and that's pretty hard to do under like those uncontrolled circumstances so it's you know an infection is like you're like the last man standing it'd be like a funny way to like escape under the map temporarily at least and then everybody would be like caught off guard Now, on the map Orbital, this is one of those maps where uh, I told you that you have to use a sword. And with the sword, it's, it's the same method still, but it just works better with the sword. Because you have to lunge like a, a little bit faster to clip under the map. Now, in the case of Orbital, it's actually like one of the harder ones to do, because... Sometimes you don't clip underneath the map and you actually get like super launched backwards. But if you do it correctly, like Hark is there, he will, uh, actually I think he got, yeah, he got launched out, but here I made it on my first try. <laughs> and now we're underneath orbital. Well, actually more like inside of it because it's a space station. But you can actually fly low and far enough out so that you could see, uh, you could see outer space. And this is probably one of the better methods to actually see more of space on uh, orbital. However, the problem is it's like a lot of uh, hall of mirror areas on this map, so you really have to find like a perfect spot to be able to see uh, more of outer space and Earth below. Because, as you can see, if I look at the wrong spot, we'd have like a hall of mirrors thing and completely like lose track of where we are, and it becomes very disorientating until we uh, find our way out but yeah you know it's actually beautiful scenery that you don't normally get to see on this map so if anything like even if you can't build stuff down here it's still still pretty good for sightseeing uh, but other than that you can't really do much gameplay down here you can't spawn objects and you can't stay down here as a Spartan very long either because eventually you're just uh, die as a Spartan. So you, it's more of a exploration glitch or sightseeing glitch, if anything. <sighs> Did I ever tell you that uh, my friend is going to get like a brain transplant, but then he changed his mind? Ah, I slipped a little extra pun there <laughs> before the end of this video. Ah. <sighs> 
anyways, uh, I hope you guys do enjoyed this, and if you guys do try this, have fun, and, I don't know, take some cool screenshots, actually. I like to see uh, some cool scenery under the maps, because there's a lot of cool things out there. Even if they're not Easter eggs, it's just, you know, interesting scenery that you can check out. But other than that, you know, just uh, if you enjoyed this, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in our next video.